Billions of dollars in relief for small businesses are going unused. Tonight, investigative reporter Brian New explains why and also what's being done that could help get this money into the hands of those who do need it. When the pandemic forced his restaurants to close, the owner of the Twisted Root Burger Company applied for what he was hoping would be a financial lifeline. We applied for all 17 of our businesses. We had our ducks in a row. We applied the first hour that the application came online. But Jason Boso says he soon discovered the forgivable loans offered by the federal government would not help to keep his restaurants open. Under the current uh, program guidelines, it's actually going to hurt my business and hurt my employees. After an initial rush for these loans, known as PPP loans, many small businesses have since returned the money. There's still more than $140 billion in the program available. Business owners say the problem is the restrictions attached to the loans. This is an important vote uh, because we've got to do this to help small businesses. With bipartisan support, the House voted to ease those restrictions, giving businesses more flexibility on how they can spend the money and more time to do it. With that, I hope the Senate will take this up and move it expeditiously so that we can help businesses this week. There's no reason to delay that. If the Senate passes the changes, Boso says he would accept the loans in a heartbeat. That extra money would allow him to rehire more employees and open his restaurants back up. So the two big proposed changes to these loans include reducing the amount of money that a business has to spend on payroll from 75% down to 60% and extending the amount of time that a business has to spend this money from two months to six months. We have a lot more information about PPP loans on our website. Check it out at cbscfw.com. With the I-Team, Brian New, CBS 11 News.